Hi, I'm Mary Earl. I go to Johnson & Wales in Denver, and I'm going to show you how to do Bananas Foster. I have an audience today, which includes my mother, my father, and a family friend, Richard. Woo! <laughs> so we're going to try to not light my house on fire. So first, the ingredients you're going to need are dark rum and banana liqueur. And you're going to need bananas, which you can use a spotted or you can use a green or a yellow. It really doesn't matter. You're going to need brown sugar and butter. So how you start the dish is you're going to melt your butter and turn on your stove. Melt your butter so it's totally coated. So it's totally coating the pan. Then you're going to add your brown sugar. I'm only making this for about two to three people. So I'm only going to need about two handfuls. So depending on how many people you have is how many handfuls. And you're going to want to make the amount of fat, the amount of butter, to equal the amount of brown sugar you have, or else your butter is going to burn. So you're going to want your butter to look like this. You want it to be really soft like sand. So once it starts gaining heat and it starts to bubble a little and looks and starts to gather, you're going to add your rum and your banana, which will make it flame. And if it starts to get a little hard, like mine is, you can add a little butter, just to make it a little softer. Okay, so it really doesn't matter the order. You're gonna add your banana. When you hear the kiss, go ahead and light it. And next, you can add your rum in two parts, or you can add it at the same time. Listen for the kiss, and go. And that's all, it should be quick and easy. Let it burn off, it's okay. Shake it a little so it goes a little faster. I have it on high heat. So, that so now you're going to add your cinnamon, which gives it a nice flavor. You can add as much as you want. I like to add a lot because it also cooks off a little bit, and it makes it a smell. It makes it really good. The, the room smells really good, so it attracts people a little bit more. So once your caramel sauce is made with the brown sugar, butter, liqueur, and rum, it's going to look like this. It's going to still bubble, and that's good. You want it to still bubble, but my heat is off. But my heat is off. So now I'm going to cut my banana. I like to cut my banana into segments. So I'm going to use the brown one because it's got a little more flavor. So I cut it into segments right into the peel so I don't really have to touch it, and I drop it in. You can do it with the green one as well. So it really doesn't matter. These bananas were from home. They were just extras that my mom let me use. So here's the segment, and you just drop it in so you don't have to use your hands. So since my heat is off, my caramel is actually still bubbling because it's so hot. So you're just going to kind of mix it in with this, mix it with the bananas, just toss it a little. A lot of people like um, the green banana a little more because they like the banana flavor. But then some people like their bananas cooked in the flame. It's whatever you prefer. So now, after you pour your, I have pre-put my ice cream in a martini glass to make it look a little prettier. <laughs> so now I'm going to scoop it in. And we usually, Bananas Foster is over ice cream. There is cases where it doesn't have to be. It's your choice. And this, <sighs> hi. Hi, family. It's Mary. So. I just wanted to say that I did my first kind of miniature cooking show, and I made Bananas Foster, and I'm in Grandma's apron. This was made by my grandmother, and it's got a bow in the back, and it says my name, Mary, and it's reversible. Don't freak out. <laughs> <laughs> my audience is here still, and uh, I really like it, and if you you are interested, I could maybe convince my grandmother to make you another one. <laughs> yeah! So I hope everyone's doing well, and I hope you can see my next show. Okay, bye! Thanks for watching.